Getting the gold medal on your first try in the in and burning scenario is totally possible. Let me show you how. I'm Strat Gamer. thank you for tuning in and welcome to a guide on how to get the gold medal without any items, without any of the legendary items or any of the ruins cleared, meaning after a reset. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already for more content on Anno and many other strategy and city building games. Let's set sail. The video footage is actually in 8 speed because to get the gold medal you need around 2 hours, right? So this video is around 20 minutes because it's 8 uh, times that speed. We start right away by creating a lot of houses and a lot of lumber jackets. We're also going to find the crates in the city. There's 5 crates. If you don't know what it is, don't hesitate to check on my channel. I have a guide explaining those crates. I also, by the way, have a chan uh, a walkthrough of the gold medal with items. So if you want to see it in a slower pace, if you want to understand it, how to do it, don't hesitate to check that walkthrough in my channel. But here we are really going for the record. We're trying to go as fast as possible. We don't have any items. So there's a couple of things that are important. Really getting as quickly as possible a lot of these lumber jackets, a lot of the fish, we're gonna be fished right away to our people to make sure that we have a lot of workforce and also the islands. There's a lot of islands around the map. They are in a random, they're randomized in terms of the location, but they always give you the same rewards. Once again, I have a guide showing all of these rewards on my channel. Don't hesitate to look for it. But that's what my ship is doing that you may have seen is going to now bring back already some resources, in particular timber, which will help grow my city uh, quicker. Starting also with the banana, as soon as I have a bit of resources, see already 24 timber that helps me grow the city. We're starting to clear the first ruin. This one only takes 75 people and also is sort of um, in the way, so um, that's why I'm clearing it. Continuing to send my ship to other islands. This one will give us a great plus 20 bonus on the water quality. It's quite important. Right now it's positive because we haven't started a lot of fisheries, but soon um, that will go into negative. Right now the only negative is actually the soil, but don't worry, the soil is actually the easiest to manage, so I'm not worried there. You actually manage that negative one by what I just did, which is to put two different farms next to each other. That creates a polyculture effect that uh, is positive. And that's why now we're already in positive in the soil. Preparing the next step already. This monkey is giving me some bananas, great. Next step is gonna be to go across the river. We are gonna need a bridge, that's 20 timber, but across the river, I'm gonna build a couple of trade unions. Each of the trade unions is focused on a type of production. One will be for uh, the EV industries, that's the one you see now. One will be for the non polluting industries and the last for the farms. I have put in uh, this trade union for the heavy industry an item that you may not have seen before that you get as in one of the crates in the city is the P4ion uh, incinerator. It increases the productivity by 100%. So thanks to that, I will need sort of half the buildings necessary. It of course also increase the pollution because pollution is linked to productivity but that way I need less workforce and I also need a lot less resources to build those buildings right in particular at the end of the game when you need to build things like the cement factory that requires 25 electric cable I can build one instead of two that's quite great in the meantime while I was speaking you may have seen that I've created also the other um, industry hubs particular the farms that I'm getting now and also the war closes because we need to get as soon as we can to Obreros. Don't hesitate of course to ask any question in the comments below. You can also slow down the video if you want with the YouTube functionality. And the turn is growing, growing. We're going to grow really on um, the right side because this is where uh, I think we have a lot of space and also where we could place a nice town hall to cover the hall uh, of the people. Got some fish with one of the event island that will also help because we're almost done at zero on fish now. 
but I'm also creating all of the fisheries across the island. We don't have any of the engineering items, so I can't do, for example, an aqua farm at this point or foresters. That's, of course, what's difficult in this um, record of doing the gold medal without any of the legendary items. We also got the injured turtle. We'll bring it back to our city. That will give us another plus 20 on the water echo balance. So super important. But so far, so good. You know, we're making a lot of progress. We're not, we haven't reached the two hour marks yet. And we're already clearing a lot of the different ruins. Soon we'll be able to go to Obreros, and that's when we're going to start the first way, the first stage of uh, the dam. Got the turtle. Growing the town as soon as we've sort of cleared all of the trees in a part of the city, we're getting that. We are now below the exclamation point, both in water and in hair, meaning we're gonna, get, we're gonna start getting random events that are quite dangerous, so we need to be careful there. We are getting to Obreros, clearing a lot of the ruins the first of these events I just mentioned, but we're not stopping there. We're starting already the productions needed for uh, the next stage of everything, meaning we've started Obreros production like the tortillas. We've also started uh, some of the mines that will be required for steel or for electric cables. You want to start all of these things as soon as you can, and that's why you want to get to Obreros as soon as you can, because you need Obreros to unlock them and for those, this workforce. Continuing my polyculture on that side. You also want to try to never be really impositive in John Allero's workforce or any workforce, you know, obviously not deep into the red negative, but not in positive either, because if you're in positive, it means you have people that are useless that could be used to do something like clearing ruins. Yeah, as you see, most of my ruins are in the process of being cleared. I'm trying to unlock this element there. Yes, yeah, so we were getting one item. It's actually just um, something that will increase your productivity. Again, if you don't know about these different islands, don't hesitate to check my video describing all of these event islands. We are now back a bit into positive or and going up and down for the water and the air, we need to be careful. We need to not arrive at the next small symbol because those ones definitely give you a very bad uh, outcome. You know, something like productivity of all of your farms permanently decreased by 50%. If you have that, you'll never be able to finish. So we need to ensure that we don't get there by, you know, stopping some of our, for example, uh, fisheries, uh, those elements like this. The good thing is I just got, you know, we got the turtle, we got the, um, cl we cleaned the oil. That is helping for sure. I'm creating some coffee, not to give it to my obreros, but actually to create a few items. Because there's a few items that I think can really help. So I'm creating that now, as you can see. We have a lot of tools that are being produced that's important for the first wave for the first stage of the dam so getting there still quite in negative in both the water and the air but we need to be careful there but this is sort of what you need to manage you can't slow down otherwise you won't make the gold but at the same time you <laughs> can't go in too much into negative it is totally fine to be below 80% at this point. You need to be at be above 80% at the end uh, to get the gold medal. But anyway, we've uh, made great progress on clearing the ruins, which is also helping, of course, with uh, 
uh, pollution eco balance, but also with by giving us some resources. That's mostly why I'm doing it, to be honest, more for the resources, especially for things like soil, like the one you can see there. I'm doing it just for the resources. I'm making some progress on them, which is great because we've definitely now passed the two hour mark. Uh, one hour and 40 minutes, which is totally fine. We need 30 minutes for each stage. So if you think about you know, the last two stage that will be remaining, this is only two, uh, one hour. I'm, uh, I've chose, if you may have missed, uh, an item that decreases my foresters, but it's because I don't have foresters, so <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to use the non-polluting item to focus there. We have quite a bit of population at this point, so I even destroyed a few houses, not a lot. I mean, I it was... Um, they were in blueprint mode, so I didn't lose any resources. You know, thinking really about what to create now. I'm sending some resources to transmute it. I want a few items that will help me with my hair. Because I remember we don't have the legendary ones. I'm happy to post in the comments below if you have any questions on exactly which item I use and things like this. Starting to clear also the ruins inside the dam. They are not necessary. You don't have to do it to win. Uh, like you won't be blocked, for example. But I find that it's when I did this first walkthrough, I thought it was a great idea to do it for mostly for their resources. Now I'm preparing a video for all of you on which of those runes actually is worth it and which isn't. Uh, so some of the res the you know result may surprise you. Stay tuned for that. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss that exciting video. Again, looking a bit at some of the items to see what maybe makes sense. I've stopped all of my fisheries if you missed it to make sure that uh, we're not going further down in terms of the water quality. On the air, we've stopped also some of the um, bricks factories, not all, but some. Stay, trying to stay, you know, a sort of an... Uh, a good level. Now I'm planning a lot of my <laughs> felt producers. If you don't know about this, don't hesitate to also ask me in the comment below. I have a video uh, called "Felt is Your Savior." You know, you may want to check that one. It it shows you how with felt you can really get your air quality in check. It's not it's not perfect. I mean, it's not easy, but it it definitely helps. It it does have an impact on on your water. We're gonna try to manage that. We're totally fine on the soil one, on the other hand, as you may have seen, at 100% there. Of course, from time to time, make sure you check your production tab uh, with Control Q. Make sure you're not producing, uh, your, to make sure you are producing enough of, of everything. We started now already the electric cable factory, not yet the cement one putting a few fire stations across the island, especially close to my industries. I don't want them to explode. And with that, you know, we're getting closer to finishing the first stage of the dam. And we've cleared all of the ruins everywhere. There's only the generator left. This one takes one hour and 40 minutes. So we don't really have a choice. We lost one of our mine by a landslide. You can get them or you can replenish them with one of your dynamats. You get one from the crates in the city, hidden in the city, and you can also uh, transmute them. So it's not too bad. Okay, we have one hour and 15 minutes and we're almost done with the first stage of the dam. Getting more obreros because for the second stage, you need 900 obreros in terms of workforce. That's critical. I, I did it just a few minutes too early, to be honest. I could have waited a bit more, but that's okay. Also started the cement factory. And for that, we need limestone. Creating my first forester. It won't work really well because if you remember, we had some uh, negative decisions made on them, which are time, so they won't be there forever, but they will be there a bit. I'm putting them where there's no trees, like the least tree they are, the better effect they will have. And now we have started with the second phase of the dam. We need 
bricks, steel, and tools. So what we have mostly except bricks, because if you remember, we stopped the bricks production to help with our hair. Now we're gonna have to do that. I, I selected a quest that asked me for two water purifiers. The truth is I sort of needed them anyway to keep my hair in check. So that's what I'm doing now. One thing that is probably completely impossible is to get the gold medal without any items at all. Meaning, you know, I'm not talking about the legendary items that you get from the start, but any that you basically you're not allowed to transmute anything. I think that is probably hard because that means you can't, you know, get any foresters, any uh, uh, water purifiers. You can't reduce your uh, your impact of the heavy industries, those type of things. We are at the one hour mark. We have already all of our productions going, right? Uh, that we need to toward the end. And we have the second stage that is going, so all in all, you know, going pretty well. We are a bit in negative in air, but not that much. Don't worry. Given a bit of resources here. Uh, phase two is, Third, you know, let's say two, one third, plus to half already. So all in all, all good. Let's pause the bit, uh, the cement factory. Now, you know, at this point, there are not that much things to do. And I obviously need to be careful about my delivery. Uh, right now I'm focusing on the bricks because this is what I need. When we'll be finished with bricks, we'll restart some of the other ones. And yeah, we've delivered basically everything we need now. I'm creating a second steel factory to help because the cement also needs factory, so I need steel for delivering the steel, but then I also need steel for the um, cement factory, so just helping there a bit. It won't, I won't use too, it too much, you know, it was a bit of an oversight on my side, but um, that's fine. Still have 45 minutes, almost done with the second stage. One thing we will need though for the last stage is even more obreros, because we need 1,500. So that's what you see me doing a bit here. One thing you may have noticed though is I didn't even, I have a trade union in blueprint mode, uh, sorry, a town hall in blueprint mode, but didn't even use it. Similarly, putting a second um, cement factory I was a bit scared that I wasn't going as fast um, as I needed. But we have finished now the last stage, or the second stage. We're starting the third. We have more than 30 minutes left, so we are good if we are able to deliver all of the resources in time. The only problem now is our uh, air quality is really down. So you need to be careful not to arrive at the final um, you know, icon. I'm seeing what I can stop, stopping, you know, I'm, I'm playing a bit here with the different industries, stop one and then the other, make sure I don't get there. Now I'm back up, delivering all I need to deliver. We're almost done on the electric cables already, but not on the cement. Really, the cement was the bit, the one I was a bit scared about. Good thing though is we're going to get cement with the generator. You can see a lot of paused elements in my cities because when a building is paused, first you don't the workforce is not used, and second there's no impact on your uh, eco balance, be it positive or negative. Obviously, I pause it more for the negative aspect. See, we have resources on everything. We do need to make sure that we provide enough to all of our people to keep that workforce at the level it is. Otherwise, you know, if you have less workforce, the dam will take longer to be constructed and therefore you know, we won't be able to finish it on time. 
So now more than 50% of that dam. I'm missing some um, coal. I missed that. The coal mine was quite small. So now I'm placing two small sparkle flame to help with that. Now I really don't need that much if you see. I, really, I need like five more uh, of, uh, of of it, but still, that's uh, two more now. So we're really all, almost there. If my coal mine had been a bit bigger, that wouldn't be a problem. That wouldn't have been a problem. But anyway, it it didn't make me lose time per se, because you know I was in I was in in advance of what I needed to be in terms of delivery of resources. So the construction of the dam didn't stop. Now, even if you deliver all of the resources in five minutes, the dam still takes 30 minutes. On the other hand, if you take 35 minutes to deliver all of the resources, then the dam will take 35 minutes. So that's why having the resources in advance is really critical. By now, I've, I've, you've seen I've really delivered everything, so I've stopped everything. So now my balances are super high. We are at 100% eco-balance, so that won't be a problem for the goal as long as we finished. And we're going to finish with a bit more than seven minutes. So it is, ladies and gents. As you've seen, I haven't used any cheat. I haven't used any of the legendary items. It was after a complete reset. We were able to do this without legendary items and with the dam, the ruins in the dam not cleared before. So it is possible. If you want more content about Anno 1800 and other games, don't hesitate to check my channel, to subscribe, um, to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it and hope to see you next time.